Now we'll discuss non-consecutive selection on a circle. So suppose we have n objects which are arranged on a circle. So suppose this is a1, a2, a3, a4, some ak, and then an. Now from these n objects arranged on a circle, we have to select r objects so that no two objects are consecutive. So the problem is from n objects arranged on a circle, select r objects such that no two objects are consecutive. Now problem of selecting objects on a circle is little different from problem of selecting objects in a row. Now we know that on a circle there is no starting point. So on a circle we have to have a starting point from where we can start defining the problem. I have made a video on cyclic permutation where I have shown that why on a circle number of arrangements is factorial n minus 1 and not factorial n. So I'll put the link to that video in the description below. So in order to start, we'll first need to select any one element. So this one object from these n objects can be selected in n c one ways. Now, once we have selected this object, suppose a2, then we can select all the remaining r objects. Now number of objects in between any two selection is say xr, say it is x1 and then x2 and then x3. Now on a circle, there'll be r such variables. So we need to find these remaining numbers which are x1 plus x2 plus x3 and plus xr. And what are the total number of remaining elements? Total number of remaining elements is simply n minus r. So we need to find number of solution of this equation when each of this x1, x2 and xr is one or greater than one. Now in this case, we'll just need to find number of positive integral solutions. So number of positive integral solutions will be, this is nc1 and here number of positive integral solution of any equation is given by n minus 1 c r minus 1. So here n is n minus r, so it will be n minus r minus 1 and then c r minus 1, so it will be c r minus 1. So now we have selected this first element and then according to this selection, we have already taken this condition that in between two selections, there has to be at least one element. Now still the problem is not complete and I'll tell you why it is not complete. Now suppose we have started with A2 and then we have selected A4, AK and AN. Now we get the same selection if we start with A4 and then we continue with AK, AN and A2. So again that selection will be same as this previous selection. We can end up getting the same selection with AK and we can end up getting the same selection with AN as well. So total number of distinct selections will be this entire value whole divided by number of variables which in this case is simply r. So this value will be r. So the total number of ways in which we can select r objects from n objects on a circle so that no two objects are consecutive it will be n into n minus r minus 1 c r minus 1 upon r. So selecting r non-consecutive on a row is distinctly different than selecting r non-consecutive on a circle. Now if we take this question which is if n things are arranged in a circle then show that number of ways of selecting four of these things so that no two of which are consecutive is n, n minus 5, n minus 6, n minus 7 upon factorial 4. So we know that formula of selecting r objects so that no two are consecutive is n into n minus r minus 1, c r minus 1 upon r. So in this case n is simply n and r is 4. So it will be n minus 4 minus 1 c 4 minus 1 upon 4. So we can write this as n into n minus 5 c 3 upon 4. So it will be n and then n minus 5, n minus 6, 
n minus 7 upon we already have this 4 and then will be 3 2 1 4 3 2 1 is factorial 4 and in the numerator we have n n minus 5 n minus 6 and n minus 7 so this is how we select four objects so that no two of which are consecutive when n things are arranged on a circle now previously in consecutive selections we have done one problem in which we did figure out number of triangles that can be formed from the vertices of this octagon so that they do not have a side common with that of octagon now another way of solving the same problem can be if we select any three vertices on this octagon which are non-consecutive then this triangle and octagon will not have any common side so if we have to find number of triangles formed from the vertices of regular octagon such that they do not have a common side with octagon it will be given by number of selecting three vertices from these eight vertices so that no two vertices are consecutive so formula for this is n into n minus r minus 1 cr minus 1 upon r now here in this case n is 8 and r is simply 3 so it will be 8 into 8 minus 3 minus 1 c 3 minus 1 upon 3 so it will be 8 and then 8 minus 4 is 4 so it will be 4 c 2 upon 3 so it is 8 into 6 upon 3 and which again is 16 so the total number of triangles that can be formed from the vertices of octagon so that they do not have a side common with that of octagon is simply 16 by using this formula